All right. So this is the code that I actually submitted during the actual competition. So let's take a look at what I did here. Uh, this stuff right here is just a bunch of uh, entering in the information and uh, initializing uh, like how to actually store the information that we receive. And here we just basically store uh, all the information that we get into our nodes, which we define right here. If we take a look at what our nodes consist of, we have the value, which will store the amount of time it takes to get there, the shortest amount of time. Index right here is just a variable I use for debugging, so you don't really need to care about that. Time here is the value of the amount of time it takes for Bessie to eat the grass on that square. Neighbors is an array to store uh, the adjacent nodes. And step is going to be uh, just of the value 1 mod 3, 2 mod 3, or 3 mod 3 of the node. So we have a constructor here that basically initializes everything. And then we have a bunch of getters and setters. And finally, two string just for debugging. Don't worry about it. All right, so we've gone over node. And so right here, we've basically just initialized each node. And now on to the next part. This basically uh, adds neighbors, constructs all the edges in the graph. So how exactly I did this here? Well, I just basically loop through each node. And then if the node is not on the uh, bottom, or maybe it's left border. Anyways, if it's not on one of the borders, it will add a node to the left of it. If it's not on the other border, it will add a node to the right of it. If it's not on the top border, or bottom border, or whichever one it is, it will add a node to the bottom of it. And if it's not on the uh, top border, it should add a node to the top of it. That's the basic gist of what I did right here. So this is still pretty basic. Not really anything uh, uh, gold worthy right here. We're just making the graph. All right, so now comes the actual uh, algorithm part. Uh, ignore the comments that I have right here. Again, they're just for debugging. So let's take a look at what I did here. So first I created my queue, which if you recall, stores all the nodes that I wanna check the neighbors of. And after that, I put my initial node the one that had one labeled on it into the queue and set its value to zero because it takes zero minutes to go nowhere. And now I start the while loop. And this while loop goes uh, while the queue size is greater than zero. So basically while there's still nodes for me to check the neighbors of. And once I'm in the loop, I take um, uh, every node that is the neighbor of my the 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 a node that's the start of my queue. So basically, I'm just checking all the neighbors here. I'm looping through each of the neighbors of the node that's at the start of my queue. And so here, I basically check, OK, is the node checked before? Because if the value is negative 1, then that means it's not checked before. So if it's never been visited before, I add this node to the queue. And then I set the value of this node to equal the value of uh, this node that's in the front of the queue right here, plus t, because it takes t minutes to move from one node to another. And then this expression right here. What this expression does, it's a ternary expression. And basically what it does is check if uh, the node, if the node that I currently have is 3 mod 3, or if the neighbor, sorry, if the neighbor that I'm currently checking is 3 mod 3, then that means I should add the time it takes to graze the grass on that node. Otherwise, I should just add zero. So like, don't add anything. So what this thing in total does is it sets the value correctly of all the neighbors that have not been visited. So what happens when a neighbor has been visited? We take an if statement to check if the new value that we assign it is smaller than the old value we had. So if our old value is greater than what our new value would be, same code as before right here. Then we add this node to the queue again, and then we set the value to the new smaller value. So after this entire loop is done, that means that we have done, 
we've checked all the neighbors of the queue of the node that's the front of the queue so that means we can safely remove this node from the front of the queue and then once this entire loop done is done then that means we've checked literally every single node that we can check and there are no more nodes for us to check so we are done with the algorithm by the time we're done with the algorithm all we need to do is find the minimum out of all the values that we have on the bottom right node remember we have three different nodes corresponding to the bottom right corner which is the node that is 1 mod 3 2 mod 3 and 3 mod 3 we just take the minimum of all of these values print it out and we're done and indeed if we take a test case in this case I created a time of 10 for a bunch of select squares and time is zero for everything else and I set t equals zero so if we do it in our heads right here we can actually see that we are able to reach the final destination without actually taking any time which is not realistic but well this problem isn't re very realistic anyways sorry Bessie but if we try to move like this start out the 10 we move to one two three which will give us zero minutes. One, two, three, which will still give us zero minutes. One, two, three, which is again zero minutes. One, two, three, zero minutes. And finally, one, two. So this gives us zero minutes total. And if you notice, the path is very not linear. So if our code is correct, then that means it should output zero and not some random other answer like 10 despite the fact that the correct solution is very uh, spirally very nonlinear so let's see what happens if we run this code alright so it has outputted our answer into visit j dot visit something dot and visit fj dot out so let's take a look all right its output is zero so what we've what we've coded here is in fact correct and of course I knew it was correct because this is my code that I submitted but looks like this planning that we did right here indeed has worked, so we are done. Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're actually going to change it up a little and do a coding problem. This is a Yusuko goal, the round three, problem number one. 